What's up? My name is Keon Williams. I'm a wide receiver at the University of Buffalo. I wear number three. And you're watching the I Only Touch Greatness podcast. Looking for the most beers on tap? Great steaks, great staff. Head over to the John B. Pub. We got the best beers, steaks, chicken wings, nachos in town. Come see us at the John B. Pub. The John B. Pub, the best bar in town. Come sign up for our football pool. Say hey, St. You. The number one sports podcast in Vancouver with Ryan Hayes and Big Mike. Ryan Hayes and Big Mike are taking over the podcast scene in Vancouver. Get down or lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Uh, so, uh, you want to just ha- Keon, right? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure. Okay. Uh, Keon born in uh, Oklahoma city. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about childhood and, uh, when you started playing football? Uh, I had a, I had a good childhood. I would say, uh, I started playing football when I was, I was five years old. Uh, I played, I played on like a team. I was like the youngest kid on the team. I played everybody else was like one and two years older than me. Uh, I ain't, I really ain't I really didn't like football my first year though. Uh, I just didn't like everything that came with it. Just preparing like the practices, uh, the discipline of it, and everything. I was young. I just had to learn. And then uh, the next year, I actually got to play with my age group. Uh, and then after that, it, you know, I just took off from and just as far as football. Um, I played basketball growing up. I played basketball just as long as I played football. Um, until I got to college, of course, and then I ran track. Almost around, almost about the same time as uh, is that, um, and I also played baseball for a short, a short time in my life too. So uh, I pretty much did it all as far as the sports thing. Okay, that was okay. the next question. You led right into it. Was going to ask you about uh, if you played any other sports growing up. So, uh, what's one aspect of your game that you're looking to improve? Just, uh, I would say the thing I focus on the most right now is just the attention to detail, just doing all the little things the correct way because that's how I feel like that's how you'll be successful. If you're consistent at the little things, uh, they'll become magnified as the big things. But uh, so that's something I would say 
I, I would look to improve on the most each day. Okay. Uh, any nicknames and what's your favorite jersey number and why? Yeah, I got I got a lot of nicknames. It just depends on who you're talking to. Uh, I would say the one I, my first nickname I ever got from my fans was Q, and then I ended up having another friend. Uh, his name started with a Q, and so and like that group of friends called him Q, but. So I get called Key by just like a, a small group of people, but then like most most people call me Q if they if they don't call me by my name. Uh, I'll say those probably my those my two popular nicknames that I had since a kid. Uh, and then my favorite number is seven. That's what I grew up wearing because um, of Mike Vick. That's my favorite player ever. So oh, okay. that, that was my favorite number. And what right are, on, right on. What are some of your hobbies outside of sports? I saw the sports playing 2K. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a gamer. Uh, I like music a lot. Uh, if you know me, you know how much I like music. Um, and I like shoes. So I like, I try to, I don't buy as many shoes as I used to, but I used to buy shoes all the time. Uh, I can't tell you how many pairs of shoes I got. Um, <laughs> what else I doing? Uh, I really just like chilling, just watching. Uh, I'll be, I'm on you. I'm a, I like watching a lot of YouTube videos. Okay. Uh, like anime videos, video games, just basketball. Because uh, basketball actually is my favorite sport. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I watch a lot okay. of basketball videos, uh, football videos, music, uh, just this stuff that interests me for real. All right. Yeah. And uh, who would you say you mirror your game after you try and play like? Receiver wise, um, my, I'll probably say. I watch a lot of Sterling Shepard. You know, he from OKC, so that's some um, that's somebody I grew up watching. Um, he looked good this uh, weekend. Yep. You know, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. And uh, he, who else? Is there some more people? Uh, yes, uh, Devonte Adams. Okay. Oof, you know, I like it. I like it. Okay. And if you were having a dream dinner party, and you could invite anyone, dead or alive, three people, say. Uh, who would you invite? That's tough. I'm gonna just I'm gonna go with alive just because that's tough. So if I can just people alive, I'll say LeBron, Drake, and probably Mike Vick. Okay. 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 Yeah, that's I always, sweet. That's- I always, I always go with Tupac, Seth Rogen, and then uh, Hulk Hogan. But I'm I like Shakira too is my third option. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I always go with Ocho Cinco and uh, uh, Carrie Underwood for a little eye candy, and then uh, Muhammad Ali because the goat. Okay. No, I like it. I like it. Yeah, I miss it. The any any uh, like- pregame, yeah, any pregame uh, rituals or routines for you? Pre, yeah, I, I actually do. I got uh, so I wake up every game or well, every morning. I wake up and pray, but uh, pregame rituals, I will pray. And it's a certain time I pray though that, and it's always during the stretch lines. Uh, during the stretch lines, I always pray, say the same prayer always. And um, I would say that's probably the that's that's my most consistent pregame ritual because sometimes I I like I don't like being too too focused in on a certain schedule, like a certain way I do things all the time. So I try to switch it up sometimes, but that's my. That's my consistent pregame ritual that I've always had. Okay. Okay. And what strengths make you a good athlete? I would say the way I think, just my mind. Uh, that's the most important because I'm always looking for a way to get the uh, get the advantage on my opponent. So I feel like just the way I think is always going. Uh, that's always been my that's always been my biggest strength, way more than my athletic ability. Okay. And uh, after uh, high school, you headed to uh, Eastern Michigan, had a couple good seasons there, and then uh, transferred over to where you are now. Uh, what made you make the transfer? I just – Buffalo. Uh, ultimately, I just felt like uh, I was going to be my happiest if I stepped away from the program, uh, but I also made sure I, I did what I had to do there. Uh, I, I graduated, and I feel like that was the most important because I started there, so I had to finish that. Uh, I feel like I owe that to not only myself, just the people that they helped me get there along the way. So I made sure I handled that, handled my business on that end. And um, so, yeah, I just had to make sure I was happy. And I feel like I'll be 
the happiest stepping away from that program is all love always. And I felt that my game would elevate if I got under some different eyes, got in a different system and around different coaches and players. And uh, I feel like that's definitely happened. Uh, so it was just I had to bet on myself, honestly. I was I was literally just going to say, I think you made the right move uh, off to a hot start with 189 receiving yards already in the first two games and uh, a couple nice returns, too. It looks like uh, they're, they're liking getting you the ball. All right, yeah, yeah, I had to earn everything I'm getting, though, for sure. Okay. And uh, so what's one thing one day that you – maybe what's the first thing you're going to buy one day when you get your big, huge contract? Hey, I'm going to buy – I'm probably I'll, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna invest my money for sure. But if I had to make a purchase, uh, I don't know. I kind of want. I don't know. That's tough. I wanna if I I'll say I buy a car like a different car. I got a I got a I got a nice car now. Like I got myself. I got a Charger. Okay. Go oh, right on. Nice. Yeah. Nice. But if I could, I'll probably buy like a like one of them old school Cadillac the Vils, you know. Like my oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Grandpa, my grandpa used to have one back when my uh, whenever I was a kid. My daddy had one too. That's sweet. That's sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, one one. <laughs> absolutely. What would you say your favorite play call is? As far as a route. Yeah. It's a toss up between a post and a fade because I just feel like you can't guard either. You can't. You, just, you can't guard that. That's okay. 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 Okay, and uh, if you could create a slogan based on your life, what would it be? Tough question. I've never even done that one before. I ain't never <laughs> about that. Uh, something. All right, I got, that's easy. Honestly, something my daddy always told me. He uh, he still tell me to this day. Uh, be phenomenal or be forgotten. So that's that's on. Uh, Perfect. Uh, good. That's a good be. one. That's a good one. Uh, what's your favorite road stadium you've played in so far? Or uh, San Diego State. Okay, okay. Yeah, they, they play in the, um, the Chargers old stadium. What's that? The Quanta? Uh, Quant- I don't know how to say it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, the, that, one that is, my- the one in San Diego, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And what's your dream stadium to play in one day? Dream stadium. I always wanted to play... Oh, that's hard. I like the Coliseum. The Coliseum, I just always wanted to play that. Yeah, another one. We I, well, Every day we've been talking about this, though, every person we're interviewing. And uh, for, to me, that's my favorite stadium. I've never been there, but I've always wanted to go see a game there. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, now the last few days it keeps coming up. Every interview, somebody's got – either they want to play there, that, that was their favorite place to play, or that just the, they're a Raiders fan. Or Isn't not that, Ra- not Raiders, Rams. The Rams, not nah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Rams. Yeah, yeah. Not Raiders. Um, yeah, if there was a karaoke contest, or I know some teams do rookie initiation, and you had to sing one karaoke song, what song are you singing? D- dig into my bag real quick. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with, like, some. I'm going to have to go with probably, I don't know, probably, like, Passion Fruit by Drake, like, um, okay, okay. You got any hidden talents? Um, I, yeah, I, whenever I was young, I used to write poems and stuff. So I don't really do it too much anymore. I mean, I write still a little bit, but I don't really tell people I do that stuff for real. But yeah, I write. Okay. I'm a good writer. Cool, okay. cool. cool. Uh, what's your favorite Gatorade color? Yeah, favorite Gatorade? Orange. I'm pretty sure you already answered this, but if you could play one sport professionally, I'm guessing a, other than football, it would be basketball, I'm guessing. Basketball for sure, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, definitely basketball. Uh, if a scouter GM were if a scouter GM were to ask, uh, can you describe your playing style or your game? What do you bring to the table? I'll say he just a go getter. If I had it, if I was somebody telling a scout about me, uh he just gonna be a playmaker. And he just wanted to get a dog. So who's your favorite sports hero? LeBron. LeBron? Okay. Good choice. Good choice. You got a, you got a favorite sports movie? Uh, Above the Rim. That's my favorite movie of all oh, time. Oh, sweet. I love it. I'm a Tupac fan like crazy. Yeah. My, my dog's name, Tupac, everything. For real? That's, I like that. 
Yeah, and that's why my three, one of my aunt, one of the people I would dream to sit down for dinner with would be Tupac, right? Tupac, yeah. would, uh, if you were if you were an animal, what would you be? Animal, I'll be a lion. I'm the king, king of the jungle. Nice. My answer is a dolphin because I look like a dolphin. I got no hair and a nose. <laughs> uh, what What's your uh, favorite music before games? Like, is there a song, a pump up song before games? Uh, yeah. I don't. I always say I got like a little, a little collective group of songs I still listen to because it take me back to when I was just like a young and like going to the games, with like with my daddy, and my uncle, my grandpa, and my little brother. Uh, I'll say I got like a few songs I listen to every game day. Uh, I listen to, I listen to the Ride Freestyle by Meek Mill. I listen to uh, Legendary by Wale. I listen to uh, uh, No Weedies by Big Crit. Yeah. Okay. Those are my top three. I I say I listen to on game days, uh, and then it's just like a mix up of whatever I'm feeling. Now I'll be, I'll be listening to like uh, Rilo, No Cap, Lil Baby. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, but I got some songs. It's more than those three, but I got some songs that I go back to from my younger days when I was like elementary, middle school that I just listen to on it every game day. I just got to. Okay. Okay. And how important is an athlete's public image? Uh, I would say it's very important just because that's what we do on a daily. That's what our life. That's what our life is dedicated to for the most part. So I feel like it's important just to keep your name and your image in a positive light because that's how. That's like I say I went like that's the truth. Like people just look at you in a certain way just as far as uh, just from an athlete standpoint because I feel like a lot of people look at athletes as just people who only I guess they only good for what they do just for the entertainment, uh, their sport. Uh, so I just feel like it's important just to keep your name in a good, in good standing, even though that's not really true. Cause we more than athletes, uh, which I'm sure y'all too, y'all, y'all definitely understand that. Yeah. But just as far as like what, how then I would say the average person think we just, we just athletes. So I think it's important just to keep everything in positive standing for you. That's good. That's a good way to look at it. And, uh, what are some personal goals for this season and, uh, some team goals? Personal go. I mean, my personal goals. I wrapped into my team goals. Honestly, uh, just perform the best that I can each day to set just to set uh, my team up just to win the MAC championship and uh, just hopefully win out from this point on in the season. We had a tough loss last week, but just do everything in my power and just contribute however I can to the team and uh, just get, just get the job done every day, every week. Okay, and what's your personal highlight? Personal highlight, as far as like something. Um, sure. Like, um, uh, usually the questions are on the field, but it, it doesn't have to be. Uh, that's tough. Personal highlight. I don't know. It's I would say it's probably a few. Just that I would say is probably been a big moment since I've been in college. Uh, I would say when I scored a touchdown in the bowl game against Pittsburgh in 2019 uh, in the quick lane bowl. Okay. Uh, that one, yeah, I'd say that's probably something. And, and uh, one more, what's uh, what's one challenge you've came across in getting to where you are today? Just overcoming being overlooked. Okay. That's a, t- that's a tough one. Like, we get that from a lot of athletes, and it's true. Sometimes it's the you got to be there for the right time, right? I mean, it's it's all about that. It's some guys are way more skilled than guys that get drafted, but they just don't have the right, just like right. right stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's not always about what you know; it's about who you know. In some cases, exactly, yeah, exactly. That's that's for sure. And it's almost how I look at rap these days. It's like you miss you got guys like say a crooked eye that would be sweet, and, but he's not famous because he's. Yeah. Nowadays, they got other rappers on that are on, and they're not even rapping. Exactly. Yeah, they just making sounds. I already know. How, I already, I feel you. I'm with you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I love. I love my whole West Coast rap music and '90s era. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, Keon, I just want to uh, thank you so much uh, for taking the time for us today and coming on and chat with us. Uh, we're big fans. Obviously, uh, you definitely stood out in those two games I watched, and that's why I hit you up. I was like, we got to get this guy on the podcast. So, I really do appreciate it. I appreciate you too. That's love for real. I just appreciate you taking and, the time to say to me. 
yeah, we can't wait to uh, start drafting you in our fantasy football leagues one year. Hey, one day, That's one right. day. One day. That's yeah. right. And you got a fan in us for life, buddy. And we'll hopefully we'll have you on again down the road. Looking for the most beers on tap? Great steaks, great staff. Head over to the John B. Pub. We got the best beers, steaks, chicken wings, nachos in town. Come see us at the John B. Pub. The John B. Pub, the best bar in town. Come sign up for our football pool. Say hey, sent you.